Good, good, good. Um, hey, good morning. It's Maria from the Fox 11 Newsroom here in Los Angeles. And joining me this morning is David Lyons, um, author of a new book called David's Goliath. And I want to know a little bit more about it. It's about um, overcoming multiple sclerosis. Right. Um, so you guys, really important subject. And I want to um, hear more from David for sure. If you guys have questions, you know, just get my attention and we'll go to you for sure. But I want to quickly introduce you to everybody here in the Hangout. We'll probably see a few more faces pop okay. up here in the morning. We usually start at 8.30. So Monday mornings, like I think everyone has a little extra time getting up and going. But we've got up to nine other people usually in the Hangout. They're okay. from all over the world. And not only that, this is broadcast live on our YouTube channel. So anyone on YouTube could be watching. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, this is Cliff. Hey, he Cliff. is hanging out with us from Hello, how are you? this morning. New Jersey. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. old stomping right grounds. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. yeah. We're about to uh -huh. Jersey. Yeah. We've got Kempton, who is in Calgary, Canada. This Hi, morning. David. We've got Kim, who is in Kansas City, Missouri. Hey, Kim. And Good morning. A bunch of people watching us online this morning. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you plus and comment, please, and share the link. And if you've got a question for David, just um, put it in the comments box, and I'll get it to him for sure. Um, here is the book. It is called David's Goliath, um, Winning the Battle Against All Odds. Oh, that looks like me. That, that, <laughs> exactly. Hey, just like you. You're wearing your um, the same uniform. <laughs> well, actually, not quite. Not exactly the same shirt. I don't think I own shirt with sleeves. You don't. I mean, that's that's a requirement. If you're yeah. a bodybuilder, you do not wear shirts that's with sleeves. True. That's just how it goes. Um, um, so okay, so let's talk about this and and your diagnosis. You were diagnosed with multiple sclerosis at 47. 47, yes, which is quite old. <laughs> well, um, mm. yeah. Let's talk about that for those of us who don't really know much about MS. Um, how did it happen? What were your symptoms and how did you come to the diagnosis? Well, I was working out at the gym and uh -huh. on this side of my body, I just started to get pain and numbness and tingling and I ignored it for a while. And as weeks went by, that same tingling and numbness and pain started going everywhere oh. to the point where about a month later, they had to hospitalize me because I couldn't feel anything from here down. So I was virtually what? paralyzed, but wow. moving. And it was just, it was horrible. So just like all of a sudden, just one day? All of a day? sudden, just one day. And they tested me for five days in the hospital to figure out what this was because mm -hmm. I was so healthy. Yes. They, they couldn't figure it out. After MRIs and spinal taps and everything else that they do, mm -hmm. they said, you have MS and you've probably had it for 10 wow. or 15 years. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Because you were in such good health that it took a while for, for the attack it to, to really come. manifest. Yeah. Now, do you have it in your family? Is, no. Does it run in your family nope, at all? Nobody. Nobody. And it's not a disease. It's hereditary. Mm. And they have no idea what causes it. They have no mm. idea really how to treat it. And they have no idea how to cure it. So it's a, it's a tough disease. And does it happen to women more than men? Yes. Or is there, it typically more, does, yeah, right? Yeah. But they're finding more men have it now. And I think that a lot of people don't know they have it. So I'm not sure that the statistics are really correct mm. or, or accurate. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Yeah. Kim, yes, if you have a question. I have a question. Uh, I'm glad to uh, meet you. I have a real good friend who actually was diagnosed with MS in her adulthood. Mm -hmm. And uh, she works for MS. My question for you is this. Um, are there any events or causes that you actually support uh, since you've been diagnosed with MS? Yes, um, I, I am very close with the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. They support me and I support them. But in addition, we're doing our own pilot uh, program to help people with MS. Mm -hmm. And we call it the MS Fitness Challenge. And we're challenging oh. people with MS to work with a trainer that we'll bring to them to help them to understand physical fitness, you know, not just bodybuilding, but just exercise and health and how that will help them to have a more productive life. So we're working on that right here in L.A. and we're starting that. Um, mm -hmm. So we call it the MS Fitness Challenge. That's really important. I have um, a girlfriend. Her mother um, died, well, not recently, but she had MS. And she really got to a point where she was bedridden and just couldn't do anything um, for herself. So um, what are what is in this book and, and what can we <laughs> We learn from it. Well, the book really, it's a, it's a chronological order mm -hmm. of what happened when I was diagnosed. Mm -hmm. You know, where I was going, what I was doing, how I handled it, what I did to try to overcome it, how I focused on bodybuilding to mm -hmm. keep myself from focusing on the disease. Mm -hmm. And now, 
towards the end of the book, it goes into how we're reaching out to help other people. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, it really talks about my faith because mm -hmm. my faith in God is what's really given me the strength and the ability mm -hmm. to fight this and beat this. Mm. And how is your day-to-day -day life now? You, do you feel pain? Do you, are you on medication? Like, wow, what, what's, I, what's happening? I don't take any MS medications okay. um, because I just don't believe in them. You know, mm -hmm. if I, if I found something that I believed in that I knew was really going to either cure it or, mm -hmm. or make it more livable mm -hmm. without any side effects, I might consider it. Mm -hmm. But I don't take any MS meds. Um, every day is a struggle, you know, for mm -hmm. me. I struggle to get out of bed really? because of the fatigue. Really? Um, I, you know, right now, like I'm, I'm waving to you, but I don't feel my fingers other than tingling. Wow. Really? So, yeah. it, So, do you, do you feel? I feel you your feel pressure. Your pressure. Yeah, but I don't oh. feel your, your hand. Wow, well, because my hands are really cold. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't tell you that. Oh, really? And it goes oh. over this arm, and down my leg, and oh. I drag my leg, and I have to convince my body to keep moving. Really? Yeah. So it's, it's just. You know, it, again, it goes down to my faith because mm -hmm. I feel that the strength of my faith enables mm -hmm. me to have the strength in my body. You know, yeah. I don't really put it on myself and think I'm such a mm -hmm. strong guy. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but no, you can't do it on your own. No. You have a support group, obviously. Um, Kempton. Yeah, what? David, I totally uh, respect your. Um, you, you're relying on religion, but at the same time, it, it seems to me that if you are not using any medication, <clears throat> the thing is, no medication is without side effect. But if you're not using medication, are you putting yourself in a very detrimental position? Like there are stuff there that, there are, that could help you, <clears throat> and, and you're not using any of them. And if I hear you right, no, not, not for, I mean, look, when you have MS, it affects many, many organs in your body from mm. your. Must. Hormones mm -hmm. to your pituitary. You know, mm -hmm. the doctors have me regulated so that I can live a normal life, but it's not MS related uh, medications. Mm. So I don't. I rather so deal. It treats like little the symptoms. Right, it treats, that are it treats my thyroid. With, it treats right, my pituitary. Right. Things like that that don't function correctly because of the MS. But I won't take. MS medications mm -hmm. because I don't feel or see the results of those medications mm -hmm. to be a, a worth the risks of what they're offering mm -hmm. and also the side effects of what they're offering. And you know, your question is great. I mean, I literally deal with the pain the way I need to deal with it, and I deal with the disease the way I need to deal with it. Um, and mm. you're correct, you know, I don't recommend what I'm doing for anybody else that has MS. Mm -hmm. You know, they should take whatever medications mm -hmm. their doctor mm -hmm. prescribes mm -hmm. to them. This is my personal choice, mm -hmm. and this mm -hmm. is how I choose to fight this. Did you have a question, Kim? Y yes, I did. Um, my, my, the friend I was talking about earlier, she used to be a massage therapist. And I remember when she first uh, was diagnosed with MS, that she had the tingling and all like that. What do you do for the numbness and all like that as far as exercise is concerned? You really can't do anything for it. There's, no, there's nothing you can do to take that numbness away mm -hmm. or make it any better. Mm. Yeah, even when I exercise, I have to wear straps or I strap my wrists mm. so that I could hold on to the dumbbells because I lift such heavy weights. Mm. It, wow. I can't squeeze and I can't feel those dumbbells like you would mm. be oh able to gosh. do that. But you can't do anything to take that you know, the numbness or the tingling away, that's part of MS. I get emails and phone calls from people all over the world asking, you know, for support and telling them that I'm inspiring them and encouraging mm. them. And the stories that I hear from them are just, mm. you know, they're horrific. You know, mm. people wanting to just jump out of their own skin because they can't deal with that every mm. single day. Now, feeling do, you, that. do you have, obviously, do you have friends and family that support you? Oh, and, and, absolutely. And I mean, my wife, going. my wife is my biggest supporter, oh, Kendra. Okay. She's a nurse. Oh, and in fact, okay. she, she's the one that encouraged me to encourage other people by starting the MS Fitness Challenge. You know, we want to be able to help other people. So having the support of my wife, my business partner, Andrew Bishop, he supports mm -hmm. me and allows me mm -hmm. to work out as much as I want while he handles yes. the business part. I was going to ask you about that. Like, are you able to go to work? Are you able to function and oh, yeah. um, on a, without feeling much pain? Or? No, no. I, I feel the pain. Feel I feel the, pain. the fatigue. Wow. And I deal with it on, on a regular basis. But nothing is going to stop me from doing what I need to do in life. And also to help other people. 
that is inspiring. That's so Thanks. inspiring. Thank you. And thank you for sharing your story. Um, you guys, if you want to check out uh, David's book, if you want to get it for a friend who may have just been diagnosed, um, it's really important to find those those sources of, of support and inspiration. It's called David's Goliath. Where are you based out of? Where oh, are you? I, I live in uh, Valencia. Oh, you're here? Yeah, yeah you're I'm here. here. In Southern California? Yeah. Oh, and well, my office is in Encino. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you. We'll hope you'll come and visit back again. Oh, I'd love to. Um, thank Picture. you for sharing your story. Thanks. Picture. Picture. Can you hold the book up? Yes. Thank you.